Okay, hey all. I wanted to do a quick video because we're getting quite a few questions about how we deal with sales tax um, for clients and for personal businesses. And realistically, this is just the easiest way we found. So we wanted to just do a quick two, three minute video explaining why we use this tool. Um, it's called TaxJar. You can have a look at taxjar.com or we'll have an affiliate link in the description if you want to do us a favor. Um, Basically, this just integrates directly with Amazon FBA businesses. So assuming you're here because you have an FBA business and you've heard about sales tax being an absolute ball ache, this is basically how it gets solved, okay? So they have this really useful article, which is the first time I found this company um, before reaching out to them as well. Essentially, it talks about how sales tax nexus works. And in short, it's quite complicated for Amazon sellers because we don't have a physical storefront. So obviously our inventory can be sent to multiple different warehouses in different states, which all have different sales tax percentages and ratios and are all sort of collected and displayed in a different way. So instead of having to go out and find all this information and build it in and even get it reviewed by a lawyer to a certain extent as well, which is super expensive, we just use this tool because it's really affordable and it just pulls everything directly. Now, we've had a few people ask about sales tax in terms of does Amazon calculate it? Not that I'm aware of, but again, this isn't tax advice. You should go and obviously consult a CPA or something based on where you are obviously in the world. If you're selling Amazon UK, then you have to take into account VAT. Um, you'll have VAT thresholds, which is 83K a year, I believe currently. And obviously you have sales tax thresholds as well. But because your stock is generally going to be held in one to two warehouses, if you have hundreds of SKUs, then it may be spread a lot further across the US and even Canada and everything. But this just helps streamline everything. And we've just felt that it's a lot. Once you get past a certain point, probably around 30, 40 K a month, you're likely to get picked up in the future in terms of paying sales tax or being chased up. If not now, then obviously potentially years in the future. And as governments and states become more aware of Amazon FBA, they will pick it up and potentially backdate sales tax owed as well. So it's usually a good idea to at least understand how the Nexus works. Um, as you can see here, they have a specific part about Nexus. It's a little bit complicated. Um, and also if you run drop shipping and e-commerce alongside FBA businesses, it's going to be a good idea to have this plus a profit loss software, um, profit inspect or something like that that you can use to calculate your exact profit loss, taking into account everything, um, pre-tax and post-tax, so you know your tax exposure. This is just a, a lot, lot easier way of doing things that we found specifically for Amazon as well. Okay, um, read this article, there'll be a link in the description as well. Sign up for a free trial, as you can see, everything's free. You basically just have to connect the account and basically it's super, super easy. It saves you going through countless spreadsheets and pulling out things you connect your api and you're all good to go okay i also wanted to talk about this very quickly so this is where you can actually learn sales tax but this is the sort of part that you need to know they can connect directly into other platforms as well so say you have an fba business and you're selling on shopify or magento or woocommerce on wordpress instead and even ebay to a certain extent you can ping those all directly in the tax jar and it just saves so much time you don't have to go through the nexus and pull out your export your sales and go through one by one where this was actually shipped to as well, or where this inventory was coming from, um, it will do that automatically. Okay, it's an absolute steal as well. Free sign up, so you don't need anything to get started. And as you can see, basic plans start at 17 bucks a month. Okay, any questions, drop me a, a comment and I'll try and get back to all of them. Um, and then any questions about Amazon SEO in general, feel free to shoot over to our site. There'll be a link in the description as well. All right, cheers.